Okay, so I've got this battery pack that I made up from three lithium batteries and uh, it's just connected to this at the moment to stop it from shorting into anything. Uh, this is capable of delivering quite a bit of current. The batteries are half decent. I need a use for them because I bought them for something and that didn't pan out. So what I was thinking is to make a portable soldering iron. Um, now you're going to have to imagine because I've done some stuff off camera took a drill bit like this in the drill and I took some nichrome wire, I think this is 0.3 millimeters, and I wound it around and I got about a 15 millimeter coil and I folded one of the legs back through the middle of the coil and then I cast it into some plaster. I wish I'd taken a photo before I did that. In there is just a little coil, it's about 5 millimeters in diameter this is seven millimeters in diameter. And in order to cast it, I just used this little thing, which I 3D printed like that, put some sticky tape around it, you know, a bit of, bit of plaster of Paris, made a very liquidy mixture, uh, kind of smeared it on the inside walls and then just spooned it in. It's, it's very um, light mixture, not very dense, no additives or anything. It's about four ohms, which is about an ohm more than what I was aiming for. These tails should have been longer, would have been nicer to connect to as well. Uh, and now what I've got here is a piece of brass, which I'm going to use to couple this onto a piece of copper. We have cut that off with a hacksaw like a barbarian. That is gonna go onto there like so. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in here and uh, make a soldering iron tip shape. Here somehow. Huh, you know, this is a bit of a problem. I can't really use solder to hold that, can I? <laughs> we got our little plaster of Paris plug, which goes in the back like so. That really does look like an electric bullet, doesn't it? That'd be the best clickbait title, Electric Bullet. <laughs> yeah, that's not normally what that means, isn't it? It will not have good conductive properties, particularly between this piece and this piece. I'm a bit worried about the sort of thermal conductivity that I'm gonna get. I'm going to put some of this goop over here, like so, that should be plenty of that stuff already got it on my fingers. Just here. Get it in here. Like that. Oh, it's going to make a mess. Alright, at this point, I think we'll take that out and some of it on here. This is unfortunately going to introduce a fair bit of water into the system because the sodium silicate is a water solution. Uh, so we are wetting our plaster of Paris here. Put it together. Oh, we've got an air entrapment problem here that I didn't foresee. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. Eek. Right, we're in. The air came out one way or the other. I want it to sit. No, there's still air stuck in there somewhere. Okay, we're all hooked up. So we're at about 1.2 volts and uh, it is drawing about a quarter of an amp. Well, I've cranked it up to two and a half volts and it is definitely warm. I can really feel the warmth. It's bubbling in there. Oi, it's bubbling out there now. I reckon we've just about driven off all the water. Well, this sucks. It's ejected the cartridge. Okay, we're gonna try this again, but with a little hole on the inside there to relieve the air pressure. Okay, we have had some success. So it was done in the oven. As you can see, a lot of the sodium silicate has sort of bubbled out as it's setting and it has made this sort of sandy residue, but that's hopefully not a problem. That's six volts, one amp. Absolutely nothing. 
too hot to touch though. So we are going to go up to 10 volts. This is now the nominal operating voltage, I guess. Ooh, here it is. It's working. That's it. Alrighty, so we have pressed it in to a piece of plywood. Okay, so here's the strategy. We're going to take a little piece of this thick copper wire, like so. Then we're going to take the nichrome wire leads. Okay, let's connect up the battery and see how we go. Let's have a look. It's a success to me if the solder melts. Come on, Mr. Soldering Iron. And it's melted. This is a portable soldering iron, almost, just. It's like terrible. It has the worst tip in the world. But anyway, I think I'm gonna probably leave the project here because obviously this is not very practical and while it's a great achievement, it's um, one for the display shelf, I think. Anyway, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you next time.